Now with a massive week ahead, we've got some big news to cover for the Nintendo Switch that might just blow your mind, including new game announcements that were not showcased during E3 2021. And of course, we have to talk about the Nintendo Switch Pro rumor that was supposedly leaked by GameStop that ended up not being true. We're also gonna talk about a major problem that's making it impossible for some users to download anything via the eShop servers. Hey, what's up everyone? Wes here, welcome back to another Nintendo Switch news video. And it goes without saying that this week is gonna be very exciting for the Nintendo Switch, but unfortunately, it seems that some users are having some big issues with the Nintendo Switch eShop. So right now there is a big chunk of users who are not able to download anything via the eShop servers due to the latest system firmware from Nintendo. Now this is including games that you're trying to download from your purchase history, as well as new games you're trying to download, including updates for those games. So for those of you that are trying to download games or updates and you're not able to, you're most likely getting the error code 2123-1502. Now the issue started on June 8th and according to their Twitter, they said currently, we are temporarily suspending the distribution of system version 12.0.3 of the Nintendo Switch. If you're using the main unit that has been updated to 12.0.3, we have confirmed that network connection may not be possible depending on the environment. We are currently considering a response, so we are very sorry, but please wait for the follow-up report. To which they followed up with, we have resumed distribution of system version 12.0.3 of Nintendo Switch, which was suspended after updating to 12.0.3. If an error occurs while downloading the game software or update data and the download stops, please check the Q and A. So of course, users went through the Q and A and they tried to fix the problem, but unfortunately it is still yielding the same error code. Now, according to the system support in the United States for Nintendo, they said that if you reset your system's cache, then it will also fix the issue. But this also apparently does not fix it either. So because of that, there is still a bunch of people that are unable to download things from the Nintendo Switch eShop servers because of this issue. Now, for those of you that are able to reset the cache and it fixes the issue, then that's great. But there are still a bunch of people that are having this issue. And with the E3 tomorrow for the Nintendo Direct, it would be super unfortunate if Nintendo hot dropped the game tomorrow that people have been looking forward to, but they can't download anything because of this issue with the firmware. I'm sure Nintendo is working on a permanent fix for those of you that are currently still unable to download things. But for now, I would strongly recommend contacting customer support as soon as possible because there might be some stuff that they've learned that also fixes this issue. It's a pretty uncommon issue that Nintendo releases an update that completely breaks people's stuff. And I'm sure that they will have this fixed as soon as possible. I think the best part about this entire story is the fact that the update was actually supposed to improve system stability and not completely break people's downloads. Next up, we have a brand new game that was announced for the Nintendo Switch that likely won't make the Direct tomorrow, and that is the one and only Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. According to the announcement, get to know your new Literature Club members as you write your way through this love story. Just remember not to judge a book by its cover. The terrifying Doki Doki Literature Club Plus comes to Nintendo Switch on June 30th, pre-order today. I've been told by countless community members to play this game, but I don't really think it's my style. Maybe now that it's on the Nintendo Switch, I might give it a try. So Doki Doki Literature Plus has a bunch of new features, including six new side stories, 100 plus unlockable images, 26 total music tracks, a built-in DDLC music player, and a high fidelity visual upgrade with full artwork now in full HD. Now, I assume the reason that they announced this game outside of the Nintendo Direct tomorrow is primarily because it is a mature game. When you click on the purchase page on Nintendo's website, it requires an age gate, so that is likely the reason that we will not get it at the Nintendo Direct tomorrow. So now we have to talk about the new Nintendo Switch Pro rumor that was supposedly leaked by GameStop, which is obviously not the case. There is no way that Nintendo would let GameStop leak the new Nintendo Switch Pro. This issue is simply a wording issue, but that did not stop the entire Nintendo community and Twitter from trending the new Nintendo Switch Pro or the Switch Pro. Now, if we look at the GameStop advertisement, it's actually for a trade-in advertisement, and it's essentially you get 50 extra dollars in credit when you trade select systems toward a purchase of a new Nintendo Switch, Switch Lite, or Xbox Series X or S. GameStop does these advertisements all the time, and the thing that people are seeing is the capitalization of the new Nintendo Switch. The letter N in the word new is capitalized, which has many people thinking that this has to do with the new Nintendo Switch console, and that is just not the case at all. It was a simple grammatical error that still had people freaking out. Now, as confusing as this ad copy is, it does not represent a new Nintendo Switch console or the Pro. It is as simple as a letter being capitalized, which has many people thinking that this reveals information about the new Nintendo Switch console. And at this point, it has gone too far. It trended on Twitter. Switch Pro was once again trending. New Nintendo Switch was trending. And I was thinking GameStop actually did leak it when it was just a capitalization of the letter in. So that is a non-story. So just to make things clear, no, the Nintendo 
Nintendo Switch Pro or the new Nintendo Switch was not leaked by GameStop. This advertisement was a part of a trade-in promotion that they were doing, and maybe they were trying to get a little bit cheeky with it. Maybe they predicted that they would trend on Twitter. Who knows? It might be a five-head play by GameStop, GME to the moon. But either way, the Nintendo Switch Pro is not leaked. It's not announced yet. We might get a Pro announcement during the Direct, but at this point, I don't think that's going to be the case. I think they'll probably wait until next month. Or if history repeats itself, we probably won't get the reveal of the new Nintendo Switch until October of 2021. There was also a rumor surfacing that the new Nintendo Switch or the Switch Pro would utilize Ampere technology in their new SoC. But even then, I don't think that that is a valid leak either. What we do know is tomorrow is Nintendo's E3 2021 Direct, and I cannot be more excited, guys. I can't wait for them to reveal some good games. I'm really holding out for Breath of the Wild 2. I hope we get it revealed tomorrow. Maybe a new title so we know what the game actually is. I really hope we get something from Metroid Prime 4 or Bayonetta. Judging from the other E3 press conferences, Nintendo could literally just show up tomorrow and just say Zelda and they would easily win E3 2021. But just because all of the other conferences were kind of mediocre or just subpar does not mean Nintendo should do the same thing. I think Nintendo is going to crush it tomorrow. If Nintendo does end up hot dropping a game tomorrow, I really hope they get the download issue fixed for some users because that would really suck to not be able to download any new game or update. But I guess we will just have to wait and see. Guys, that's going to wrap it up with today's video. Are you excited for the Nintendo Direct tomorrow? I am freaking ecstatic and I hope you guys are as well. This has been Wes and I will talk to you on the next Nintendo Switch news video.